this video, we will be diving into QGIS and QField, showcasing how to create a QField project and gather data from the field. To start, we will create a map tile and a shape file with the main names and attachments in QGIS, and then convert our project into QField. And to finish our video, I will show you how to open our project in QField and how to collect some data. So, the first thing we are going to do is to open QGIS. Let's wait a little bit. So, the project is open. And now we are going to give some coordinates to our project. For that, we are going to Project, Properties. And we will choose the British uh, coordinate system because we are going to, to work on St. James's Park, London. Click Apply and OK, and let's save the project. Let's go to Desktop, create a new folder. Let's give it a name. Fieldwork St. James's Park. OK. Let's select the folder. Q field for the name and save. Now I will show you the two plugins we are going to use. I already have installed it, but for this you, you should install these two plugins. The first one I will show you is going to be the Q field. So the, the Q field is an app for um, for your mobile device it's the the software you are going to use to collect data so you need to, to install this plugin on qgis and the second plugin is quick map services that is used to to use base maps uh, and create auto photo maps so you you search for quick map services and install it and that's it for now Let's click save again. And that's it. So now what we are going to do is actually to create our map tile. Um, our project will be based on St. James's Park in London. So we go to XYZ tiles right there and drag and drop Google satellites. Okay. Let's Let's pick the magnifying glass and zoom in our interest area. As I said earlier, the, our interest area is St. James's Park that is located in London. But of course, you can, you can create your map tile on the place you need for your project. Let's go a little bit west. Let's search right here yeah this is St. James's Park in London let's zoom a little bit more this way and it looks okay let's save again and create our map tile for this we are going to processing toolbox and search for XYZ and click on generate XYZ tiles after you click, the, this window will pop up. For the extent, we are clicking right there because we are going to use the image that is on our screen. For a minimum zoom, let's pick 18 and for the maximum, 20. 300 dpi, J JPEG, and let's save on our folder. And let's pick a name, for example, St. James Park tile. And save. Now we hit on the run button. And wait a little bit more. So the generate XYZ tiles, what it actually do, it's to create an image from our base map, so we don't need to actually work um, on QField uh, online. So uh, with this image, we actually have a base map in our project, but we can actually work without the internet, so uh, in offline mode. 
So let's save again and import our image to our project. So we don't need this base map, so we can click remove. Let's go to home, desktop, our folder and drag and drop our tile to our project. So as you can see, we already have a base map, but only for St. James's Park. Okay, so it's, it looks very nice. Let's go to project and save again. Now we are going to create our shapefile. For that, we are going to layer, create layer and new shapefile layer. For this, we are going to create a point, a point shapefile. So let's give it a name of points and save to our folder. Let's save. For the coordinate system, we are going to choose the one we picked earlier, the British coordinate system. And now we are going to create fields for our shapefile. So I like to create a, a name field, for example, let's set the list, uh, observation with 200 character, for example, let's set the list. I like to have a date. Let's pick date on the type and to finish a photo. So we can actually take photos and save our images to our device. Let's add to the field list and click OK. So the next step is to create some domains. So we are going to properties. Uh, attribute form and uh, as you may know when we are actually collecting field data we don't uh, we don't like to lose too much time so for that in the name field we are going to choose value map and we are going to create a list of some elements that we may encounter on the field for example for example trees uh, bench for example we need to, to, to write on the value and on the description. Let's go to, let's write fountain, WC, coffee shop, for example. Coffee shop. Maybe a statue. Uh, entrance and exit, for example. And uh, if we encounter an element we don't have in our list, um, what I actually like to do is to is to have a domain called others, and then on the on the observation field we can specify that object. So let's go to object, inevitable, and not null, and let's go to apply. On the observation and on the date we don't need to change anything and on the photo we choose attachment and right here we choose image so this this step is finished so we can actually apply and click OK so now the project is finished so we are going to import the project to QField for that, we are going to plugins, QField sync, package for QField. So if the, this error actually occurs, what we are going to do is to go to points, properties, QField on the bottom. And right here, we are change this, this value right here for this one. And uh, you, you do this for every every element on our project so on the map tile is actually changed already so we don't need to change so let's click ok and let's restart package for key field you save it on the folder and let's click create you wait a little bit and it's done so the first part of this tutorial is done so now we are going to to our folder and let's zip uh, 
every file we have on the folder. Let's zip. And then you, you need to import this, this zip file to your mobile device. Let's change the name. And I will send this project to my device. I will share with email, but you can import with USB, Bluetooth, Bluetooth or, or email. So this is my smartphone screen. The first thing we you need to do is to go to your app store and install the QField app. And then let's go to the plus sign, import zip folder and choose the, the, the folder we, we send to our smartphone, for example. So I opened, the, I already opened the, the project. So let's, let's select the, the pencil so we can edit. Let's zoom a little bit and let's collect our first point. For that, you click on the plus sign on the bottom right. This is a tree. We can have an observation, for example, if the tree is dry. I will give it a date and take a photo. And after that, save. So the first point is collected. We can collect another one, a tree. This, this, now we don't, we don't write an observation. We can collect a different, a different type of element. For example, a statue. I don't know if this is actually a statue, but it looks like, it looks like it. And you can save. We can, we can select the WC and we can have an observation. For example, if the WC is closed permanently, you can write that on the observation field and you can take a photo and save. And you do this for every, every element you encounter on the field. So this is actually a simple project, but you can, we can, we can have polygons, lines and multiple and multiple elements. So if you like this type of tutorial, like and subscribe and comment if you would like to see a similar tutorial, but with more complex database with multiple shapefiles and different fields that are connected with each other, for example.